Hello everyone, this is Imran Ali here. Welcome back to our channel and today we are going to talk about raindrop.io. So before we go further, obviously we need to know what first like what is uh, raindrop.io and what it used for actually. So raindrop.io is all in one bookmark manager as you can see over here. So what it sounds like all in one. Every browser, every single thing wherever you are going to bookmark, it will conclude every single thing on this application the good thing is that you can find this application on your web website you can find this on your ios and android and every single platform out there which you can see and everywhere every single thing will be connected like if i'm going to bookmark something from my website it will also update to my mobile to my mobile application any mobile application like android or ios and on any platform like Mac or Mac iOS or obviously in this Windows obviously it will let you store your bookmarks and also makes it easier to organize them more efficiently which you can like don't do usually to your Google Chrome or any other platform but over here you can do that and if you scroll down over here you will find more options like more things they are explaining to you like obviously i have just talked about this like organized with ease and uh, like what is a design sy system like you can search by that and see the picture you can also add png files you can also add uh, pictures this is all on you and you can see over here like no limit starting from zero dollar obviously you can use free version and there are more pricing which we will talk about at the end of the video if we scroll down over here you will find that they are saying the same thing that i have already told you that it is available on your all devices and if we see over here like pngs and images pdf videos which i have already told you these can be added in your bookmarks also so obviously we need to first sign up right so click on sign up and you will find options like you can use your email your own email and your google account your apple account if you click on over here you will find more but for this tutorial i'm going with my account click on google and it will take you right over there click on your obviously your profile and it will take you right over here so this is what we have right now and this is the dashboard of raindrop.io obviously you can see that this there is nothing over here but how we can do that obviously you can see over here like install browser extension so in my opinion i have already installed it already but for this tutorial i'm just going to show you like click on it and it will take you right over here it will show you how many browsers are there like google and safari mozilla firefox and brave just click on google and it will take you right over here i'm gonna remove it right now and i'm gonna add it again for this tutorial and right after you can see that that save web pages files tabs highlights you can do that easily and you can just save it from control plus shift as this is the shortcut you can just scroll down you will find more options uh, and more features they are providing so this is very useful in my opinion after that on the extension icon if we click on it you will find that raindrop io is already been added if we click on it you will find that you can add tags tags like you can categorize those uh, url the similar uh, working urls if you want to do that and this these are the uh, obviously your url uh, where uh, whatever you are going to bookmark and this is the collection like folders so simple side but obviously we will talk about this later but i'm not going to save it from over here so i'm going back to the same page i'm going to refresh it just for the like tutorial base like everything is good right now we can import bookmarks also like if we uh, like uh, have some like csv or html or any like file over here we can add them uh, over here also if we go at uh, app click on it you can see that we have themes different themes over here which you can do and uh, you have your font size large if you want to do that you can do that click on bookmark preview you can do that also like open a new tab or just preview it first and uh, the buttons the which kind of buttons you want to add you can do that too like tags add to favorites this is all in the settings by the way so just remember that and you have your backups you can also backup that uh, particular like account bookmarks so this is very useful in my opinion and obviously you will need pro plan for this you have your integration integration like uh, send new bookmarks to google sheet you can create a google sheet also save favorite youtube videos 
uh, say favorite two it's also and there are 2000 plus uh, integrations out there if you click on it you will find more obviously you can just scroll down and you will find more of them so this is very huge and in my opinion it's very unique way to create your own bookmark so how you can add bookmarks so it's very easy so on the top left corner you can find that this plus icon click on it and you can uh, make a folder this is actually a folder like with the name of collection so i can just write working uh working enter and here we are so we have installed browser extension so we have already done that so just suppose like if we are at any like this one so if you go ahead and click on extension click on over here you can add them from here like in this working uh folder you can add text like working simple because all the working tasks will be in this folder and it will categorize like working obviously so this is all you need to know and you can add your url and you can also favorite it and it will create new uh se selection area for you and i will show you obviously you can highlight it if you want you can add more tabs if you want in one uh like url so just save it once you save it you can just go ahead and see over here like it shows one i'm just going to refresh it again and you will find that we have one link raindrop.io we have our favorites over here we can see that we have tags different tags over here and we have also uh, like collection so this is how you are going to add your url and how you are going to put, uh, import it also you can also share it from over here obviously and if you want to share this your account obviously you can do that too and uh, you can see like uh, obviously you can just filter it out like how you want to see your url and your bookmarks from over here you can see the view like mood board or headlines cards list and show headlines if you want like uh, icons if you want to show icons uh, related to this like if i close icon right now you can see it has been hidden so you can hide a description show a description if you want but it doesn't like it's on all on you obviously so you can change the icon if you want you can remove the collection it's all on you so this is how you are going to work on raindrop io so if we talk about the simple pricing plan they are giving us for monthly also for early so this is for early as you can see we can add unlimited bookmarks unlimited uh, collection for free version so this is a lot in my opinion and for the pro version obviously uh, you can auto suggest your text like you don't need to write every single text text obviously so you can full text search if you want to do that Th these are some extra features they are giving you early for early thirty dollar i think it's a lot i mean not a lot i mean it's it's good for a lot of features this, this is what my point and if we go ahead and click on monthly so this is three or dollar so in my opinion it's, it's very like easy to access for everyone so that's it this is all you need to know about like what raindrop.io does and how you can integrate it how you can like uh, get access to different uh, like different devices to different devices and so that's it thank you for watching this video if you have any queries related to this please comment down below let us know we will answer that and bye bye